luscious, golden, and aromatic, there is nothing like the Guimaras mango. But what makes it among the sweetest in the world? Mangoes are among the fifth most cultivated fruits in the world. While it's an old cultivar, little is known about its origins, except that it's mostly grown in tropical countries. In the Philippines, manga or mango takes the sweet spot as our national fruit. According to the Department of Agriculture, it is the third most important fruit crop in the Philippines next to banana and pineapple based on export volume. According to Statista, Philippine mangoes brought in 617.78 million Philippine pesos in export income. The three well-known mango varieties in the country include the pico, kachamita or Indian mango, and the carabao mango with its aroma and eating quality, making it our most dominant and sole exported variety. But there are about 500 to 1,000 varieties worldwide, and it's not clear how many of these are present in the Philippines. When we went to Guimaras, the renowned mango capital of the Philippines and home to some of the sweetest mangoes in the world, we knew it would be unfair to indulge over these sought-after fruits without trying to find out the reason behind their solid reputation. And with these kinds of quests, you know I'm the right guy for the job. So I'm here in Guimaras, and of course, what do we have to do here but eat the mangoes? I've always eaten Guimaras mangoes in Manila. It's about time to learn about them here in Guimaras itself. Okay lang po bang magpatulong sa inyo kung ano, i-describe natin ano yung hahanapin pag gusto mo yung hinog na, uh, kung pwede nang kainin. Uh, yun, ay nangangamoy na siya naman. Yung matamis na, oh, yung amoy. Free stuff. I noticed from Iloilo to Gumaras, everyone's like so welcoming. Everyone has been super nice so far. Like the moment we landed, people have been sending us suggestions. It's been such a wonderful time here. Makes me more excited to taste the mangoes. Mm. Mangoes are so sweet. Mm. Trying out some fresh Guimaras mangoes really piqued my curiosity into how Guimaras nuns use their favorite fruit, so we decided to head to a cafe that uses mango as a main ingredient in some of its offerings. It's really good, but it's a bit strange for me. But I get it. The thing with areas that have very specific products, they have to be able to utilize it. So in this case, as mango, they don't just sell it as fruit. They process it for export. And they also use it as an ingredient. It's chicken breast with multigrain bread. Mm. The dressing's awesome. And again, the mango. Maybe I'm biased because I really like sweet food, but this one's very delicious. No, I've tasted coffee with orange juice, lemon, but not mango. It's really good. Took <laughs> you 30 minutes ago. Mm, yeah. <laughs> To find out more about Guimaras mangoes, we talked to Rod Orquilla, supervising agriculturist of the Guimaras National Crop Research, Development, and Production Support Center. So, ba't siya nakabalot si Rod? So, karamihan po sa ating mangga dito sa Guimaras, actually part ng ating uh, management practice, is talaga balutin siya to protect hmm. from insect. Ah. At ma-minimize na rin natin yung infection ng mga sakit. In this way then, wala na hindi na kailangan mag-spray. Kasi pag hindi yan nakabalot hanggang harvest pag spray pa yung farmers. Ah. So pag nakabalot siya, no need to spray. So malaking cost din yung nababawas. Yes. Na. And more importantly, may lesson mo talaga yung paggamit ng mga synthetic na mga pesticides. Kaya nga medyo sumikat yung mangga ng Gimaras dahil uh, aside na free tayo sa mango seed and pulp weevils ay yung quality po niya. Okay? So although maraming factors po yun, so isa po doon is yung uh, inherent characteristics ng ating uh, mangga dito sa Guimaras. 
So aside from that also, yung condition po dito sa Guimaras, yung ating lupa at saka yung ating uh, climatic condition which favors yung mango production dito sa Guimaras. Yung lupa po kasi natin is sandy. So maganda yung internal drainage. So favorable yan sa, sa, sa mango. Gusto niya na drain uh, immediately yung tubig so in case man umulan. Another is yung ating mga cultural uh, management practices. Yung uh, island province of Guimaras po ay nire-regulate yung pag-harvest at saka po pag-trade at pagbenta ng ating mangga. Okay, so dapat po pag-harvest ng mangga natin ay nasa tamang maturity or sinasabi natin tama yung edad ng fruit to assure of the quality and also the sweetness. All these factors contribute to the sweetness of Guimaras mangoes. And there are more tests and certifications to prove this. Its tagline, the sweetest mango, is actually verified by the Total Soluble Solids or TSS test conducted by the Bureau of Plant and Industry. Uh, dito po sa atin sa Guimaras, marami po tayong uh, mga registered strains ng uh, mango uh, na na-registered dito sa ating uh, National Seed Industry Council. Bago po yan ma-approve ng council, ay kailangan po siyang dumaan sa uh, masusing pag-aaral at evaluation at ganoon din po ng uh, pag-evaluate na kailangan ng mga member ng council. So far, ang pinakamatamis dito na na-register natin yung Gimaras Super Galila na umabot yan ng 21.3 degree bricks. Yun yung total soluble solids niya o yung sugar content po niya. Although yung standard natin nasa 15, pero sa Gimaras, dito po sa atin sa Gimaras, yung pinakamababa po is 18, 18 and above. For this reason, the Gimaras Mango Growers and Producers Development Cooperative sought to register the province's priced mangoes as a geographical indication under the Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines. Last May 13, 2023, it finally happened, making Gimaras Mangoes the country's first registered GI. For those unfamiliar with the GI, it certifies a link between the quality, characteristics, and reputation of a product, and most importantly, its geographical source. According to Rod, not only will this protect Guimaras mangoes from being confused with those from other provinces, it can also pave the way for a price increase and for more exports, which will then give additional income to the farmers. This is a great step that I hope many more agricultural products that are defined by their location can avail of. So, yung center po natin, siya na mismo yung pumunta doon sa ating mga mango growers at mga right. producers. So, nagtatanong-tanong na tayo dito, oh, kamusta ba yung quality ng fruits mo dito? So, pag sinabi, pag sinabi nila maganda, okay, itry natin, i-evaluate natin pag pumasa sa standard. Uh, hindi po talaga by chance, nilalapitan talaga natin sila. Uh, with intention. Pinapromote talaga natin sila, in-encourage natin sila na pag mayroon kayong magandang klase ng mangga, ipa-evaluate yung nasa amin at applyan natin ng uh, registration sa National Security mm. Council. According to Rod, majority of the mango production in Guimaras is accounted for by backyard growers, thanks to the support given to them by the cooperatives, research and development agencies like Rod's team and the LGU. Kung titingnan natin the past uh, five years consistent po yung uh, volume of production dito sa Guimaras, nag-average po tayo ng 11,000 hanggang 15,000 uh, metric tons of fresh fruits every year. Uh, consistent po siya dahil sa taas ng demand ng uh, Guimaras mangoes. While Guimaras mangoes provide vast opportunities to the community, farming and harvesting them is not without its challenges. 15, 20 years ago, yung ating bansa ay nasa top 10 and even nasa top 5 tayo in terms of uh, exportation. Yan po. So yun po yung pinanghihinayangan ko na hindi natin na-sustain. Actually, yung ating mango fruits is very competitive in terms of uh, quality and taste. Uh, compare with uh, other countries. Kaya, kumbaga, yun yung mga edge natin. So, kailangan lang natin masustain talaga yung volume of production natin. So, yung technology na dinidevelop dito sa Guimaras, pinapilot test dito sa Guimaras, actually, nire-replicate natin yan sa ibang lugar. So, that means na yung other mango growing provinces Sa other, sa other provinces dito sa atin bansa ay pwede na rin makapag-export ng mangga sa mainland US at saka sa, sa Australia. Even po yung kasi yung ating mga mango process products, so malaki po yung demand nun sa world market. Rod mentioned the potential of processed mango products, something that agripreneur Rebecca Tubong Banwa has been harnessing through her enterprise, McNester Food Products. 
Rebecca first started processing calamansi, taking after her parents who were calamansi farmers. When Guimaras became more popular for its mangoes, she started to explore its possibilities. What made you decide to process the mangoes? Uh, when I was employed, uh, my employer have a friend who is exporting mango. Ah. And uh, na nagtulong kami doon. Pumupunta ako sa farm. Then nakita ko doon, kawawa yung farmer. Kung bakit, exportable grade lang ang kinukuha. Sabi ko, kailangan may magawa tayo dito kasi kawawa yung farmer, iwanan doon yung, yung hindi exportable grade. Besides using mangoes from her own farm, Rebecca has also found a way to support other small mango farmers in their community by adding value to their harvests. I heard also that you have your own farm, pero you still help out other farmers. Yes, uh, yung, yung farm namin maliit lang, hindi kaya ng buong production. So, ang beauty ngayon ng, at ang nakatulong kami sa farmer dahil na yung lahat nila ng mga rejects, yun ang binibili oh. namin. Yung good, we don't want to compete them sa good na manga dahil na pwede nila ibinta ng magandang presyo. Mm -hmm. Unlike ng Red Jex, minsan iniiwan ng mga buyers sa kanila. Ah. Ang ano ng Red Jex is yung undersize, oversize, deform, at saka yung may mga scratch sa skin. Kapati, oh, ganun sila ka meticulous. Oo. Oh, oh. So that's why ngayon hindi na namin siya tinatawag na Red Jex, but processable grade. Yeah. The farmers now are very happy dahil na Ma magawa, magawa pa nila ng pera. Unlike before, na walang may bumibili, so minsan maiwan sa kanila 200 kilos, 300. Dami. Siyempre, obvious yung dried mangoes. Pero how did you come up with mango ketchup or yung sa pang ano oh. Kasi so, uh, yung, yung kinukuha natin sa ano, yung kinukuha natin sa, sa dried mango, only ang dalawang face lang ng mangga. So yung yung dalawang muka nito uh, may maiwan dito sa gilid ng buto. So mm -hmm. skinoscope yeah. natin. Through my conversation with Rebecca, I realized how pervasive the impact of climate change is. Ang mangga sir is a climate dependent. So weather dependent siya. So hindi natin ma-project kung anong maging panahon for the next season. Sa totoo lang, noon nang hindi pa ako ng negosyo, I don't mind kung umuulan, kung umiinit. Ngayon, kung umuulan, I count 120 days. Na pagdating ng 120 days na yan, wala akong mangga. Kasi ano eh, yung mangga is 120 days siya i-harvest mm -hmm. after the flower induction. Climate change is a story for another day, but what Rebecca said just gives us another glimpse into the effects of this global problem. After some deep thinking, I was ready to try some of Rebecca's mango products. Thank you so much for the drink. But uh, <laughs> honestly, I'm here at Gimaras for the mangoes. <laughs> so would you mind if I try some of yours? Oh, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Wow, sure, sure. <laughs> Our standard, sir, is low sugar sulfite free. So from perfect, no. Oh, oh, my. Taste. It doesn't hurt my throat. My, my, kunting asim siya na may tamis. It is a 20% asim and 80% na tamis ang kailangan na gawain sa dried mango. Some dried mango sa tamtis. Taste. Tasted mga mga. <laughs> Sobrang tamis ng labas. Oo. Oh, oh, Hindi oh. siya pantay sa loob. This one, mm -mm. tama nga yung asim, yung tamis. Oh, it's just perfect. It's really good. Thank you so much for your time. So ako naman, dadaling ko lahat ng product mo <laughs> sa studio namin. I'm gonna try to make oh. some dishes using the yes. mango sauce. And sure, the, sure. The Back in the studio, I was able to take home some Gimaras mangoes and other products like this mango jam. So today I'm gonna make the classic mango float. So I'm happy because we learned a lot of things about mangoes. From the street vendor, I learned a lot of things. Uh, some of it I already know, but I feel like most people should know, which is how to pick your mangoes. 
it's super nice to think that there is actually a certain smell that's sweet. You'll know that the mango is like super sweet. So I have here chilled whipping cream or heavy cream or all-purpose cream. Next up, some condensed. Cool. So we just want it to be super soft peaks. And then instead of adding vanilla, and also this also explains why I didn't add a lot of uh, condensed milk. It's because I'm gonna add some mango jam. Right, now it's time to fold in the jam into the whipped cream. Now by adding uh, mango jam instead of the uh, vanilla, you're giving more focus on the main product or the main characteristic of this dish, which is the mangoes. Time to assemble. Thin layer just so the crust won't move around. Spread a layer of your whipped cream. So next, add your mangoes. Be generous if you have a lot of mangoes. Now this is a classic mango float. Now if you want the graham to be more cakey, probably leave it in the fridge or the freezer for a day. But I want the texture so we can serve it right now. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> <laughs> I have always enjoyed mangoes for as long as I can remember. But after learning more about them, I gained a more profound appreciation for the mangoes, especially the ones from Guimaras. Besides their inherent superior qualities, a lot of research, passion, and by any hand goes into helping Guimaras mangoes become even more golden. While they are already world famous, there's still a lot of potential in these luscious island treasures. If you ever find yourself in Guimaras, I hope you get to try them too. Perhaps everything I've shared with you here will make even more sense. Guimaras mangoes really are some of the sweetest and the best in the world. <laughs>